go. Badly. How about now? Hey, <laughs> thank you, my man. Thank you. It wasn't muted. It was just not connecting, which was a bit weird. But yo, what's up, Ar Aralia? Let me just say everything I said again. Welcome, guys. Welcome back to the stream. Um, we're going to start off today with our daily money making. And that is laborers, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, passive income. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask right now i'm not doing anything that requires my full attention so i have more time to interact with the chat and answer questions and just get to you know let's talk it out chill for a bit and then once we move on to our pvp pve activities that's when it will be more gameplay focused and um chat will take a back seat but anyway how's it going welcome welcome we have just finished the second island and it's uh it's just easy profit i recommend all new people that start do laborers because laborers is just guaranteed income after you pay off your initial investment and the next best thing i can recommend for new players is get to premium premium is going to help you progress a lot faster 
because premium gives you bonuses as well as um, fame bonuses as well as learning points and it gives you the edge you need to just enjoy the game and not find it too grindy the game is pretty grindy and if you have premium active it cuts it down by quite a bit if you don't have premium i recommend you watch my money making videos and guides and try and get was it 8.4 mil to get your first premium then after that it should just snowball because once you unlock premium you get better loot better fame progress faster you know everything just starts to stack up and snowball so premium right now is 8.4 mil which is doable in a couple of days as long as you do corrupted dungeons just grind corrupted dungeons and it's easy money so we move on to our player islands now. And um, if you can, stick to guild islands. The only reason I'm doing player islands is because I set this up before um, I made my guild islands. But right now, guild islands are the way to go because they are more beneficial. Yo! Awis. Awas. Awas? Remon, what's up, bro? Welcome back. Mm -hmm. Hey, 6.3. How much is that worth? There you go, 46k. Just like that. Easy profit. Easy peasy profit. So I highly recommend people do laborers. You can make money just of the flat resources and the books, and then the enchanted resources are just extra profit. Let me give you guys a bonus span. The raffle is not open right now. I think it happens in like 10 minute intervals. A lot of new people have been joining the game with the mobile official release. And I think I might try mobile and get the gist of how gameplay is on mobile and probably make like a guide video on mobile but then again i could just do it on pc because everything is pretty much similar it's just the positions of the keys and the bindings will be different because mobile is tap based and pc's keyboard and mouse like when i made my video yesterday not yesterday day before yesterday about the destiny board people said there is no b key on the mobile i was like oh yeah that that would that would help a lot so i had to tell them to press this icon which is the destiny board icon oh so that is another that is another island almost done Two and three. There we... Oh, done. But we have three more islands to... No, two more islands. Three more islands to go. And it's just profit. If you look here, um, I started off with four mil. I've got 4.69 mil now. So I'm just getting money today by raw resources. Raw resources and the enchanted resources if I do sell them. Mm -hmm. Oh, 150% happy.
Done. So, 117 channels left. What do we want to do today though? Like after we do our money making, do you want to do some PvP, PvE, or do we want to do some Escape from Tarkov? Because like Escape from Tarkov wipe has hit and I've been playing it on and off. But another thing that I would like to do is get ready for Albion Online um, by Albion Online's roadmap by getting fame credits. Because there's going to be elite levels there's also going to be what do you call it a uh, possibly new weapon so if the new weapons are broken and op you gotta you gotta use them while you can before they change the change the stats or change the skills like the specter boots and the uh, specter jacket combo well not specter jacket and specter boots combo it was the specter boots and claws and then it was the Spectre Jacket and Quarrier Boots combo. And that was a broken combo. It's pretty busted. That's why it got changed and nerfed. Is your bear faster than a normal boar? Uh, not too sure. 75, 75. No. The thing about the bear is the gallop speed is the same as the movement speed. So even when you get tagged in combat, um, it doesn't reduce its speed. But you don't need that in an island. The main thing I'm using the bear for is its carry weight. It gets more carry weight than the boar. Boars are faster because the gallop speed gets an increase, but the bear gives you more carry weight. And since laborers get uh, refined materials back and forth, they get quite a lot of carry weight. Also, when you're crafting, um, you take journals, books, artifacts, all of that stuff. So you need the carry weight. <laughs> so we are down to 85 how much does one fletcher labor profit at 150 percent that is a question that is hard to answer due to the price changes recently but anywhere between 2 to 10k, depending on your enchanted resources and what resource you get. But if you're getting like wooden bars, I don't think that's going to benefit you a lot. But if you get leather, like enchanted leather specifically, it's going to give you more profit. But right now, I think anywhere below 23k per a journal will guarantee you profit. Once you go over 23k, it becomes you either break even or make a little bit of profit. And then anything above 25k, it's uh, it's a gamble because you're gambling on the enchanted resources. Like when I started, they were 16, 15, 16k. So I was making good profit. Now they're at 21k. And 21k is a huge spike. That's what, like a 50, 40 to 50 percent increase. It's currently down to 19, so that's that's a good sign. If I'm about to transport in the black zone with a zerg, should I go with a bear instead of a boar? I need more carry weight. See, it depends where you're transporting from. Um, Ara. 
because if you know there's going to be zergs there you don't want to be transporting during those times you want to ideally wait till it's off peak so you don't have that much competition when somebody's trying to gank you and depending on what you what route you're taking i suggest a giant horse because it's got the skill that allows you to ignore crowd control resistances and if you equip the Fort Sterling Cape, that's two stuns or CCs that you can negate. But Giant Horse doesn't have that much carry weight, but it's more safety. That depends if you want to gamble with a small trip, but take everything. Um, I mean, a larger carry load and take everything. Or do you want safety where you can go like three, four times, but you're like more likely guaranteed to get your items there. But all in all spectral boars are generally good spectral boars because of the invis skill as first you see a name you just go invis and bypass them if they're exit camping if they are in the open world you can just turn around and you, you save your invisibility for when you can juke them don't just use it willy-nilly but do use it at the start because the cooldown will start so if it's a minute cooldown you ideally want to use it at the beginning at a good time to get more distance. So after a minute, if they're still chasing you, you have the ability on cooldown again and you can use it again. The one thing about the bear is it has no gallop speed, but if you use this intimidating aura and you hit a person with it, you are going to be locked in combat. And when you are locked in combat, you're not going to be able to teleport zones like change zones and if one of them get a cc off and they start chain ccing you you're pretty much dead so it depends on it depends on the route you're taking and how long roughly a journey is how do you make silver with laborers well you just give them books and they give you resources and you can sell those resources and once you do that it's just guaranteed profit like if you look here the price just keeps going up so 5.49 5.52 i give him one book 5.5 so i made 10k right there you see what i mean every time you give him a book you get raw material i mean refined materials returned Sometimes you can get 0.3 materials and 0.3 materials pay for like two and a half books. Getting the books is the hard part. Yes, to get the books, you have to start crafting. It takes quite a lot of time to start slowly raising your crafting spec to where you're self-sufficient on books. Even right now with my 200 laborers, I cut it down to 200. I have three characters crafting for me and I'm not self-sufficient. I'm almost there. I am almost there though. Like once the three characters craft fully, not the effect weapons, not leveling, just any type of thing that's 100 out of 100. I will get enough books to be self-sufficient. Which labor currently gives the max profit at a tier 6 house? So the five laborers that make you profit right now are blacksmith, tinkerers, imbuers, lecturers, and fishermen. If you fish, then go for fishermen. If you don't, then any of the other four. If you're in Carleon, Tinkerers are good. If you are in the other cities, then pick the one with a bonus. So, for example, if you're crafting daggers, which will be Fletcherers, you go to Bridgewatch because you get the extra 15%. But right now, I think Tinkerers, Imbuers, and Lex. No, not Baxpiss. Um, Tinkerer, Imbuers make the most profit right now. Because imbuers have the cloth and everybody needs cloth because 50% of the game is DPS. So it's cloth and healers use cloth. Only tanks use plate and leather depending on the situation. But everybody needs cloth and cloth is used in high damage weapons such as staffs. So you get the idea. Mr. Cat, hi, hello. What should I do with my crafted masterpiece gear? Sell them directly to the market or chart them to 0.3 and sell them? But most of my 0.3 masterpieces are still waiting to be sold and they sell slowly. But if you want more profit, uh, profit, you enchant them to 0.3, you sell them to the black market. 
don't sell them to the market unless it's a metal weapons and you know people are going to buy them. I just sell them to the black market because then I can just leave them, forget about them. A couple months later, I check if they've sold. If they haven't, just relist them. The reason you want to sell them to the black market is guaranteed better profit if it's a masterpiece 0.2.3. If you don't want to do the 0.2.3, just sell the normal masterpieces to um, the marketplace. Somebody will buy it and chant it themselves. Long time, man. Yeah, welcome back. Welcome back. I've been streaming on and off and real life's been taking uh, priority over streaming. That's why uh, you've seen me on and off. I'm still here though, I'm still here. And that is the labor is done. So we started with 4 mil and we ended up with 5.88. So we made roughly 2 mil, roughly 2 mil profit. Just by the raw materials. So we're not going to sell the raw material. I mean, refined materials. We're going to make that into even more profits. But first, we need to go collect our herbs. Because our main character, Smiling Monster, uses the herbs to make potions. And that gives us profit as well. So if you don't do food and potions, I recommend you just rent out your farms. But if you have alt characters, it's a good idea to do your own farms. Because two player islands equals your daily bonus. And the daily bonus will give you like a mill in amount. And then it'll give you these boxes. And those boxes have a chance to give you fame potions. And those fame potions can be used to make even more profit. So it's basically just a good habit if you have alts to do the the dailies because it's just free um silver on top of the extra silver you're getting by using the focus for the alt i'm planning to return to albion are we still friends in albion remember i added you i am not too sure bro uh if i haven't deleted nobody so if we're still friends we're still friends though my friends list is getting full and quite a lot of people have asked to add me so We'll see. I'm pretty sure it's fine. Is upgrading to tier 7 house worth it? Is tier 6 enough? Tier 6 is enough if you're planning to just stick to tier 5 laborers, uh, tier 5 journals. But if you want to do tier 6 journals, it is worth it upgrading to tier 7. Because the profit increase and the 150% the on tier 6 journals is worth it. Like, the rule of thumb, Goku, Gok, I'm just going to go Goku, because Goku is Goku. The rule of thumb is one tier above the journal, right? So what that means is, if you're given tier 5 journals, you want everything else to be tier 6. Houses, trophies, tables, chairs, laborers, etc. Everything one tier above the journal. That way you're guaranteed 150%. And 150% means more resources returned, which means more profit. And the more profit is... is easier because you're gonna pay off your initial investment and once you pay off your initial investment it's just a pure profit so right now everything i make is pure profit because my initial investment has already been paid for and if you plan to play this game for a long time if you plan to make this game your mmo of choice because it is a unique one then yeah it is worth it because you're going to be playing this game for a couple of months, maybe even a year, two years like me. And it's just going to generate you silver. Where you headed? And you can build a labor empire. You can build a farming empire. You can build a crafting, refining, whatever type of empire you want get the profit that you need to enjoy the game daily 
then don't worry after you don't have to worry about making silver you just have to enjoy playing the game which is what i'm trying to do but i'm trying to um find something new to do because i've done quite a lot of activities in albion online i need to do more 5v5 pvp because i haven't really done 5v5 pvp i need to do some hardcore expeditions and i need to do the roads of avalon those are the three things that i haven't really done as much as everything else i've done raiding pvp pve avalonian zd pv i've done quite a lot of things a lot a lot of things so let's try the things that i haven't done I forgot to play Albion since I haven't played in years. Uh, if you want guides, tips and tricks and money making guides, just check my channel bro, I got you covered. You, it will help you refresh your knowledge of Albion online and then you can pick which ones you want to do. Easy profit. Yo Tom, what's up, what's up? I popped by your stream yesterday. I didn't uh, didn't type nothing because I was busy, but I, I was lurking. So you get that extra bump for the YouTube algorithm. What do you recommend to invest in to get more money and good profit? For passive income, everyday laborers, or um, long-term investments that you, you don't care if it sits there for like six months to a year. Referral skins, mount skins, crystal, crystal, um, crystal battle mounts, mammoths. All these things that are hard to get that will go up in price eventually. So, like. I don't know who it was, but somebody posted a video yesterday. A mammoth one year ago, 2020, was 28 mil. A mammoth now is 110 mil. So if they don't change the drop rate, they don't change how the drop chance is and how often the mammoth spawn, then it's just going to keep going up because a lot of people can't be bothered to gather. They don't skin no more. So there's not that many people getting the resources. Oh, I don't want to buy that much. Um, some people kill the mammoth when they see him just to see if they can get the the, the drop chance but apart from that not many people are doing it so if you get terry um get to terry skinning and anytime you go out in the open world just carry that terry skin knife you never know when you pass a terry zone or when you see a mammoth if you kill that mammoth and get a um a mammoth cub you are laughing because you've just made roughly 100 mil like that it is highly unlikely but the possibility is always still there Ready to leave? you see streamers just randomly can you buy a mammoth in front of us well i don't need it right now so i'm good i am planning to buy one though just having a a masterpiece pirate transport mammoth is something that i want since i started playing the game so now that I've got some money that I can spare, I might just buy it. Still looking forward to though. I'm still looking of ways to invest. So this is something I've learned from looking into blockchaining and crypto and all that. You never want your capital to just sit there. You want it invested so it just keeps making you profit. You use money to make money. That's how it works in real life. That's how it works in gaming. And what about the farming and food? I'm already 100 mil fame on crafting, but I need to get into food, but I don't know what I'm supposed to get full profit. You know what food for me is new. So what you want to do is you want to ideally get one of them to 100 out of 100 and then slowly start leveling the other ones. When there's a 25% XP boost, you want to focus on the other ones. And then when it's a normal, like no boost, just focus on the normal ones. Because with the 25% XP boost, you can also study low tier materials and low tier crafted potions and food to get the bonus. And up to like level 40 specialization, it's fairly easy to get with the 25% XP boost. And what that's going to do, that 40 specialization in all the other foods, is going to get you focus cost reduction on the main food that you're leveling, which is going to get you more profit. And that profit, you're just going to pump back into the food to make any, um, any type of food slash profit and then you take that and start leveling other ones to 100 out of 100 and you just pick anyone just just pick one thing start with it focus on that and then slowly get to the other ones hey bro just started playing album and loving it happened to pop by your stream by chance liking it so far welcome man if you have any questions feel free to ask 
currently I am doing my daily money making, so it doesn't require a lot of effort to focus on the game. I have more of my attention on chat, and that's why I'm talking to you guys and answering your questions. Once we start getting into like the PvP, PvP side, it's going to be me focusing on gameplay, and chat's going to take a back seat. But I generally like to do my daily money making at the start for like an hour and a bit, so everybody can get their questions out, they can see how I make money. If you're new, you can see what I'm doing and apply that to your own like money making. Method. Do I need premium or should I earn stuff? I highly recommend every new player buy premium the first month, even if it's with real life money. Because then after that, with the focus and with the benefits of premium, you're going to be able to make that um, silver to buy the premium again with in-game currency. And then it's just going to snowball from there. Like me, it was one month, one month, three months, then three months again, six months and then 12 months. And now I just buy 12 months because of the, the silver you save. Is Grizzly hard to be gank, guys? Grizzly, the good thing about a Grizzly is, is it has good carry weight and its gallop speed and movement speed are the same. So even if you get tagged by mobs, you're going at the same speed and it's going to give you good chances to just run through mobs and let the mobs tag your pursuers downside is is if you use the skill you're going to be stuck in combat excuse me and when you're stuck in combat it won't allow you to move to another zone so you have to be really careful how you use your skill because if you use it near the exit and you're tagged for combat you're not going to be able to um go through the to the next zone so you ideally want to use it when you get caught to reduce damage because when you use it it reduces damage by i think 60 to 70 percent that's basically doubling your survivability chance when they start nuking you after they nuke you and you're free and you're not cc'd run around a bit so it takes you out of combat and when you're out of combat then go to a zone when you're when you'll be able to go through because you won't be combat locked which is more profitable auction crafting or food so right now Food is more profitable because they've introduced roast pork, which is another node. The currently food has 900 out of 900 and oceans have 800 out of 800. The reason for that is the extra node gives you focus cost reduction, which gives you more profit, slightly more profit than potions. But right now, enchanted food makes more profit than enchanted potions. Main reason being because nobody's farming the arcane essence for the enchanted potions, whereas everybody is fishing and gathering chopped fish and enchanted fish sauce for um, the enchanted food. So right now, to make the guaranteed most profit, I would recommend food over potion. For guaranteed max returns. For easy profit and guaranteed daily profit, Poison potions are the way to go. Gankers love them tier 8 poison potions. It's their drug of choice. And tier 4 poisons are used for all the PvE side, HCE, all of that stuff. So those two poisons are guaranteed daily income for you. Guaranteed. But at the start to craft food in the beginning, I need focus because I already will spend it and finish it. Then I'll stop and just continue as much without focus. Mm -mm. If you can spend a couple more silver at the start just to bump up your specialization, then do it. Because that way your focus is going to be more efficient in the long run. And you're going to be making profit faster. At the start, you could just do corrupted dungeons for an hour, get one mil, spend that one mil on resources and craft. Instead of using focus. Use that focus if you have it already at something else to make profit. Use that profit that you made from that something else to level the food. Then once you start breaking even between the two methods, start doing the food instead of the other focus refining. Is there a way to gather tier 7, tier 8 resources safely in red and black zones? Join a top tier guild that has their hideout in one of the zones. That's the best advice I can give you. Gather safely, you be in an alliance or a top tier guild that is protected by other hideouts. That way, you're pretty much not 100%, at least 90% safe. Red zones, they're not safe because there's no protection. And red zones are chaotic because of faction warfare.
I will start with 50 mil to get full spec in my main food so it's not that problem with money. So yeah, if you can, just uh, spend a bit. You don't have to spend all the 50 mil, but spend a bit getting one of them pretty high. And then if you can get the other specs for at least 30, 40 to get the extra focus cost reduction. Like if you look here, if you water herbs, crops and animals, you don't get the bonus. You only get the bonus to what you're doing. But for food and potions, you'll get the bonus for both that tree and the other um, branches in that tree. So it's a good idea to do food potions as well as refining and crafting. Because in the long run, if you plan to play this game for a long time, you are going to get the benefit of that node once you get it to 100 out of 100. And then say you've got that to 100 out of 100, you do the other ones, they're all going to they, they stack up. So once you max out all the other nodes and craft on one of the nodes, it's basically like doubling your focus cost reduction, which is roughly anywhere between 30 to 50% extra profit from my calculations. But this was roughly, I believe it was roughly six to eight months ago when I did this. So the prices have changed drastically. So you have to redo the calculations but it is still guaranteed more profit and it is advised in the long run for you guys to do focus cost uh, reduction with refining, cooking, crafting and potion. In the long run, if you plan to play this game for a couple of weeks or like a month, then just do whatever you need to do. Boss build for defeating boss in dungeon, just for defeating bosses, not clearing the dungeon. Um, Where you headed? any given weapon to or just anything because right now just be cultist cow with um bolt casters cultist cow with bolt casters and like drill drop and you'll just be shredding everything Yep, yep. It's like the levels on refining 4 to 8. I already have 100 spec in all the refining types. 4 to 8. So I understand you really good. Okay, yeah. So what you want to do is you want to use your refining because you've already maxed the spec to make profit. Use that profit at the start to um, just cook the food and potions. You're going to take a bit of a loss, but it's better to invest your focus in something that's making good profit than to start it on food because food's not going to make you profit at the start. So use your refining to make you profit. Use the profit that you make in refining to buy the food and materials. Buy the materials of herbs and um, crops, whatever you need to craft the food and just craft the food. Then sell the food. You make a little bit of a loss. Sometimes you could break even depending on how cheap the buy orders are. Then once you get that up to like a decent spec of like 60, 70, where you can start seeing profit from cooking with the focus, then you switch over to that because you're going to be leveling faster when you use focus on that um, tree. If I've made a guild and have a guild island and I leave the guild island, no one is ever even in the guild. Do I lose the guild island? Yes. If you do not give somebody guild leader, you lose access to that guild island um, and being able to trade that guild island. However, you can give yourself co-owner and co-leader and still access the guild island. But you won't be able to invite people to the guild and you won't be able to trade that guild for something else. But if you plan to sell it or rent it out later on. <laughs> what I do is I just make a new account, make three new characters and make the char the guilds on those characters. And then whenever I want to sell it or whenever I want to trade it or give access to somebody else, I just log into those characters and give access. For those characters, you do not need premium to buy a guild island. So you are fine just making new characters. I don't think they've changed it since I've done it. But if they do, it's still worth just buying one character with premium. Referring, get your friend to refer you. And don't refer yourself because they'll ban you for doing that. Just get a friend to do it for you. And then you just get the referral skin. You get a player island. And then you get a guild island also. So yeah. Hopefully that's helped you out, Hassan. If anybody else has any other questions, feel free to drop them in chat and I'll answer them to the best of my abilities.
So that's one island. So we have three islands left. And then we can start making the proper profit, which is refining and crafting and cooking and potion. That's where you see a lot of the profit. It's when you start using focus. When you start adding focus to an equation, it's guaranteed profit. Majority of the time, there is still that what extra 5% where you could lose out. But once you pump focus into most things, it's profit. Also, guys, if you're enjoying the content, don't forget to smash that like button because it helps me out the YouTube algorithm. And if you're feeling extra generous, smash that subscribe button and then turn on that notification bell. How to get millions. McAldwin, you click on Smiling Monsters YouTube channel. You go to playlists. You click on the playlist called How to Make Bank. You binge watch that playlist. You do what that playlist tells you to do and you'll be making millions of silver. Do you do corrupted dungeons? Yes, I do corrupted dungeons on and off. Um, I haven't done corrupted dungeons in the last couple of months because the meta was just boring. But I will be getting back into it soon. Wixie, yo, yo, what's up, bro? Welcome back, welcome back. Uh, music has stopped. Yes, I want the music to continue playing. And if you don't understand, just ask questions again and I'll see what I can do. For the Hasimic Millions. But yeah, my channel has a lot of money making guides. It's got 20 plus different money making videos that are still um, viable today because they haven't changed focus and they haven't changed quite a lot of the methods. They have changed Corrupted Dungeons and Corrupted Dungeons gets reduced by 15 to 25%, but it's still profitable. It's insanely profitable to do that. Facts. I've been to watch them all and now I'm at 10 mil plus a day passive income. There you go. A real life story of Smiling Monsters money making how to make bank videos. You may talk to Momo and he will give you his side of the story of how to make millions by watching Smiling Monsters guides. <laughs> uh, but yeah, legit, just watch my how to make bank playlist and start doing a couple of the methods yourself and you're going to make profit like that. It'll take a couple of weeks, maybe even a month to get it up and running because you need to start leveling a specific trait or specialize in a specific tree. After that, profit is profit. Silver will be printed with focus. You have a mammoth. No, I do not. Good, sir. I am probably planning to buy one. I did have one, but then I sold it when the, the, the price jumped. And now it's gone up again. So I thought it was going to go back down, but it didn't go back down. It's it's slowly rising. So I might just buy another mammoth and keep it for a long term investment and use it in the, in the meantime. I will give you the stories, but not the maths. I'm sorry, guys. Don't worry, bro. Nobody likes to give the maths. They just want to hear the success stories. It's coming home. Yeah, bro. England in the finals. 55 years if you're talking about football uh, claim that deposit that oh sweet other character is your net worth over one bill yes good sir i'm pretty sure it's over one bill a lot of people just referring themselves yes they are and it's against it's against terms of service to refer yourself so if they do get caught they're going to get banned instantly so i wouldn't recommend you guys do it because all the hard work that you've put into the game and your characters could just disappear because you're not doing something uh you're doing something that they don't want you to do a lot of people uh how are you yo Abdullah, how's it going, man? I ain't seen you in time. I think I saw you. No, you came in like, what, was it a couple days ago stream? At near the end, though, I think. But what's up, bro? How's it going? Farming over laborers? No, laborers, 100%. Farming is because my main character is a food and potions crafter. And another reason why I do farming every day on my alt characters is because you want to get the daily bonus. The daily bonus gives you um, 1.5 mil in the monthly mount. Then it gives you these chests 
which have a chance of giving you focus potions and those focus po potions at my current spec is one mil silver extra on top of whatever i use daily so it's just extra profit on top of more profit so i turn the herbs into potions sell that to make profit i use the fame that i'm getting from the herbs to unlock the daily chests which means i don't have to go out and do expeditions or other things with these characters i can just do my farms and it's just easy profit by the way when is fame day i'm not too sure bro i'm not too sure people have been speculating that it's with the next update they'll give you a 25 percent boost or when um uh events such as like halloween or s i don't know the next closest one is probably halloween guaranteed 90 percent apart from that if they do a major patch or some rework maybe then that's sad though in world of warcraft it's not bannable well different companies have different policies on what real money trading is and what they like and what they don't like so every time you join a new game you have to make sure what their stance is on referring yourself fine mate thanks uh my job's a bit busy these days so i miss some of the streams no problem man uh i've been busy real life too so my streaming and videos have been cutting down to like uh, two videos and maybe like two streams instead of three three sometimes it's just one stream and two videos because real life it has been busy but in the next couple of months i should have everything sorted out and i'll be focusing on content creation again mm -hmm. i need eight of those can you make a video doing hc with ape and three masterpiece like crossbow build uh that's kind of expensive but i maybe 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 a hte video but i don't know if it's going to be 8.3 masterpiece maybe excellent maybe masterpiece we'll see uh when it's fame day oh, i answer that question okay. so let's go to last one wants the metal let's go what's the most profitable weight in albion online right now crop the dungeons 100 percent hands down the most profitable thing right now is crop the dungeons I can't even buy a 7.3 tenor shoes. That guy's asking too much. Yeah, everybody wants tenor shoe issues because of the aggro reduction. <laughs> That's the new meta. Yo, Nimu, what's up? I hate black hands really boiling to fight against that weapon. Uh, it, It's the combo that people have found out by cleric or assassin it's like pop pop you're dead same thing with the quarter stuff meta same thing with the halifold meta same thing with the first skull double mercenary bear paws <laughs> excuse me haven't now corrupted dungeons in time because they just you don't like the meta maybe we'll do some today depending on the time we get seeds do i need to buy but then after this farm we will be doing refining crafting cooking and pusher because that will be the finish of the islands 
dailies, and it'll just be profit. What role you play smiling? In in what sense, Nimu? In HTE. Oh, I haven't really done HTE. If I was gonna play a role, it'd probably be DPS. DPS, the uh, light crossbow, a bow, or um not gonna heal, not gonna tank, because tanking you need to know what you're doing. Healers just need to keep the tank alive, but I don't have any healing spec. Uh I'll go DPS. Let's smile a monster. Drop off. Bitch cities. <laughs> now we head over to Limhurst to make the most profit. Ready to leave? Expo is good, but people usually need a shadow caller. That's why I'm specking up right now. I need to spec up Curse. Curse is one of the things that I've put off, but I really want to spec up Frost and Curse because those are just two really good weapons that I haven't really leveled, but I do enjoy some of their playstyle. The one thing I don't like about Frost is you got to keep spamming Qs, and that's just annoying. I can't be bothered to do that. Uh, but it's really good utility-wise of the slow, snare, CC, etc. Profit incoming. Got everything. Fourteen percent, fourteen percent. Stuff's easy to kill as I see in my CDs. Um not specifically CDs. I'm talking about ZVZ, small scale, 5v5s, um, 10v10s, 20v20s. All other type of content, generally, staffs are really, really good. Especially Frost and Curse. Fire has taken a back seat recently. Fire used to be hands down number one for DPS and damage over time. But now it's being outshunned by curse for damage over time and damage by frost. Hi there. Was there? We do that. That move here. Crop. Go. So if they do buff fire to make it king on raw damage. I think he would come back into metal. Before, in all 5v5 scenarios, it was just fire because the fire damage was insane. I'm late. Well, you're better late than ever, Just Games. Welcome, man. Welcome, welcome. But yeah, right now. Right now. I think I'm going to level gonna finish leveling my hunter tree i think i need to start leveling quarter staffs and i'm not gonna level nature because i don't heal but after i finish that i'll start looking into um, frost staff curse staff maybe swords maybe um what else looks like it's pretty good maces are doing pretty damn good hammers 50 50 um any frost stuff, curse stuff, maybe even arcane stuff. I've always liked playing support. Arcane stuff, the occult stuff, just making people go zoom zoom. It's a pretty fun thing for me in ZVZs. I don't ZVZ no more because um, I prefer to do small scale. Like, I've given up on the big group dungeon, not dungeon, big group ZVZ type call to arms every day. 
every couple of hours I need you, the guild needs you type thing. Arcane just use points, I try it. Uh, the only way you level Arcane is by doing Avalonian Dungeon. Made me cry. Avalonian Dungeons? Or if you have a hammer tank, then you got Witch Work. Because uh, the Witch Work helps with the hammer tanking. Mace will get a nerf and dagger class next day, spears and swords, but be meta. Uh, yeah, Mace is gonna get nerfed. The one handed Mace. Uh, I don't know about. Yeah, Chain Slash is getting nerfed with the daggers. Swords getting the movement speed back on the Q. Then. Spears? I don't know what the spear buff is. What's the spear buff? Yo, Anton, what's up? what is up my guys welcome back welcome, traveler. better late than never just like just games better that you're here than uh not being much appreciate welcome back welcome back log out switch character ah. With this character, get this and this and this. Good. Oh, two days left. Uh, look. Looking to save passage. If Kimbuki is still having his store up. But the reason I go to this store is because I have associate rate. So instead of paying 29%, I'm paying 15%, which is almost a 50% reduction to paying taxes. So the more you reduce the expenses, the better it's going to be for you because profit is profit. Even no matter how small, it's still good profit. Go down. Be fifteen percent. So it'd be double this. I'd have to pay two thousand if I went to another store. There you go. And if you want to see the profit, just look down here. We start with ten point zero point three. This is normal profit. I'm gonna to sell to the black market, which puts top profit on top of profit. You'll see later on when I switch characters. Downside about crafting, you watch a green bar go this way. But it makes money, so I'm not complaining. Oh, snap, two masterpieces. Hey brother, how are you? I am good man. Welcome back. How's it going, bro? So right now that was pretty rubbish normal profit. But when I sell to the back market, you could be seeing the extra profit. 
Green thing equals money? Well, if you know what you're doing, then... Go back to our main island. Crafting. This. Then this. This, 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 this. Blood that. Next character. All good. Your money making guide is helping me sustain myself. That's why I made it. And that's why you should be using it. Like I tell a lot of people. I've made 20 plus videos, money making guides, how to make bank in Albion online. Just watch the videos, apply the methods yourself. And within a couple of months, you have silver to sustain yourself. And instead of making Albion online your second job to make money, you'll be actually enjoying the game and the gameplay. Get me. So that is why I've made it for you guys pretty much. No, I'm big bother to do that. I can get you anywhere. Um, can you give me advice about fame farm? Need to earn fame credits, please, set etc. Solo or group. How to earn money as a beginner, bro. Please help me. I'm broke and I have been playing for three days. Right now, best way, uh Kreen, crafted to dungeons. Both PvP and PvE. Fight players, don't fight players, just keep doing corrupted dungeons. It's one of the best profits. I'm solo. Solo, best way to fame farm as well. Corrupted dungeons. Corrupted dungeons take a good speed clearing build. So if you want good speed clearing, crossbows good, swords are good, bear paws. Um, just anything that gives you mobility and speed. So you can run away when you get into PvP. Crossbows doesn't give you mobility. It gives you insane clearing speed. How much fame does this account have? Um, my main account, I will show you in a sec. This account, I can show you after I finish crafting. I don't even understand the black market. Basically, instead of selling to the normal market, which you sell to players, you are selling to the black market, which is sold to NPCs. So anytime you open a chest or anytime you kill something and an item drops, it's from the black market. So it goes round in a circle. But the best speed clearing build would be crossbow, light crossbow, crypt candle, or bolt casters, with preferably a druid robe, cleric robe, any cloth robe, depending on your situation. Then it just depends on what um, what you want to level for the boots and helmet. You just need to make sure that your chest piece is a cloth chest piece and that your weapon is a crossbow. You can do the explosive bolt caltrops every 4Q reset combo. Exclamation mark coffee? I don't have a coffee, I think. That's what you're trying to do. But you can support the channel in other ways. Just click in the channel description and the basic support is just like and smashing that subscribe button what happens with trash nothing it's trash so this character has 101 fame 97 in crafting and not much in killing mobs and uh, gathering what do you call a thing that runs around with a chest on it an ox no problem bro Good luck. Welcome, traveler. Already did, buddy. Thank you. Much appreciate, guys. I appreciate every one of you that likes and interacts and with the stream and my videos. It helps me out quite a bit. Crafting. Deposit this. Um. This, 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 that, and that. Next character. Can I please get a signed 5.1 regular ball? Yeah. Uh, do you want me to craft it in... Co Wait, do you want it from Smiling Monster? Or do you want it from my um, bow crafter, which is Soul Eaters? 
which character do you want on because if it's in smiling monster we'll do that later on if it's on the bow crafter we'll do it now hello what's up bro welcome back welcome back Come on, bro, respond! Into swap characters. I'm currently lagging in CD up against a one shot. That's not good. The bow crafter, okay. Do you want it in Carleon or do you want it in the city? Literal screen freeze? Yeah, that's not good for one shots. One shots will kill you in the screen freeze. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, come to Carleon with the materials and I'll craft it for you. I don't have the focus because I used it all. Oh, I'm going to have to go to the bank because it's region overcrowded. Oh, Limhurst. Okay, I'll, co I'll come to Limhurst. you died feels bad man jeremy have a good stream need to leave for work see you take care later dude enjoy work if you can enjoy your work some people don't enjoy their work do you mean the chest mobs in red zone black zones if you mean the ones in red zone or black zone the mobs are added in pets seven Wait. It's region overcrowded. I need. Yeah, okay, I need to. I need to go by my. Okay, just a cheap tier six box would do. I love being a veterinary seer. Oh, yeah. So you're gonna enjoy your job. I need just wood. 5.1 wood. The dude was literally dead against me and then free is so annoying. Smiling, how much longer are you streaming for? A good 30 minutes to an hour, maybe? Depending what time is it? Yeah, so a good 30 minutes to an hour at least. I'm standing over here. You come trade me. How much wood? 32. 32 wood. Also, if you want to try and aim for a higher quality, then uh, give me potato salad also. 32 wood. And press B and find out, bro.
Hello, YouTube. Wow. People are recognizing my alt names as well. That was the wrong way. Mylan Monster. Yeah, on and off. Mandy guy. Say Tang Inya in chat. Tang Inya. What does Tang Inya mean? That's a cost, by the way. Well, there you go. Potato salad. Potato salad. <laughs> Streams telling me to cuss out this guy. What language was that? That's a bad word. Stream told me to say it. What does it mean? No literal translation? What? How long Filipino? the potato salad oh snap that's not good get the salad wait did you not trade me the salad or do you want me to get a salad It can also mean F you uh What's going on bro? I'll go get it, don't worry. Fine. What is the weakest weapon in your game? Or what situation? It all depends on the situation. To be honest, arcanes are pretty trash right now. Arcane stuff's pretty... Everything else is used in most scenarios, but... Arcane go poop poo Focus. Might as well give you whatever I have. Help Only... Come back. Mm. Top of balance. Yeah, Avalon. Arcane's only good for um, support in ZVZ and Avalonians. Probably nothing else. Top of balance. Yeah, I don't see stuff of balance being used pretty much anywhere. Locust, yeah. Locust is good. So is Dawn Song. Bro, I need to collect more formal silver from first premium, so... 
Jaws, man. Crop the dungeons. Crop the dungeons, you'll make that in like three to four hours. Slayer, I mean, stool cart, one mil minimum. Slayer, two mil minimum. No problem, man. Enjoy your signed Oh. Now we continue on with our money making. I can get you anywhere. Get on. Hmm. Staff of Balance was good with the Spectre Jacket, but then they nerfed both the Spectre Jacket and the Staff of Balance. So both weapons became pretty much trash. The Staff of Balance has not been changed, and Spectre Jacket has just been getting nerfed and nerfed to the ground. And Spectre Jacket was one of my most favorite um, armor pieces, because I was using that as the Suicide Bloodletter build. And then people saw that, I wasn't one of the first. Uh, well, no, I was one of the first, but not the first, if you get what I mean. Like, I was one of the first people to use that build, but I wasn't the first guy ever to use that build, because I'm pretty sure um, somebody else used it a couple days before I started using it. But I love that build. Bloodlet, a taproot, spectre jacket, guardian boots with um cultist cow or a soldier soldier armor oh not a soldier armor soldier helmet bro is regular bow better than other bows depending on the situation yes regular bow has really good single target damage so in hte in avalonians and a few other things fighting bosses single target damage yes Bow of Badon is good for AoE. Longbow is good with Assassin Hood for AoE. Then Whispering Bow, not it's not used. Then Wailing Bow, it, Wailing Bow was the shotgun of ZVZ until they changed it and nerfed it. What else is there? There's quite a few other ones. War Bow is really good for solo PvP. War Bow hands down one of the best bows for solo PvP and Kitan. I killed a dude with the stuff of balance and CDs. He was funny. Currently 100% win rate five times. Used it. It's pretty annoying to fight against. Stuff of balance is annoying because of the CC and thingy duration. Downside is you can't heal when fighting against it. I mean, when using the ability. So, I don't know how that's going to work. Hey, I'm crafting 69 crows. 69! Regular boat is OP. In 1v1 situations, it's considered good, but you can still get countered. Regular bow gets countered so hard by purges. Especially if you're doing double merc jacket with regular bow, your whole build can be countered by purges. So if it's broken, there's a way to counter it in most things. Right now, the most broken for 1v1s is Halifull. It's still Halifull. Then ice and quarter staffs come close. Cross staffs and quarter staffs. You want to find out what the most broken weapon is in Albion? Go here. Display capture. Murder ledger. Leaderboard. Hello, fool. Girl seeker. Gray sleeper. Blood letter. One handed mace. Cross staff. Hello, fool. Broadsword, spear, bow, spear, um, grail seeker, hammer, first off, blood letter, mace, trinity, bow. So, but in the top 10, no bow. 13th place is bow. And is this guy actually even using a bow? Yes, he is using a bow. This is the build. Hey yo, how you find out what bow, what build to use? If you want to do it for 
weapon main tricks. It tells you what weapon's good against what weapon in a 1v1 situ situation. You go down to here, Halafull is all green. Halafull beats every other single weapon. Then the next best is Frostoff. Along with... Where is... Um, Braille Seeker and Quarterstaff. Easiest way to figure out what's pretty broken right now. Oh, so let's go make our profit. Ready to leave? So go back to Mana Monster. Let's go. How much profit we made today? I hate Halifax players in Corrupted Dungeons, they are cancerous. Yes, any healing <gasps> excuse me, any healing stuff is cancerous. Any type of healing 1v1. Now to show you guys profit. 440k, 518k, made 60k. Made two, 300k. If I sell it to the market, I'm making 1.43. If I sell it to the black market, I'm making 1.9. So that's 500k. 20k. 110k. 120k the length of the black market i'm making 10 to 20 percent more profit yo for both a hundred and something k again another a hundred and something k so there you go i just made a couple mil extra by selling to the black market and that is where you sell to the black market Cool. I'm back in one sec, guys.
I am back. Now time to switch over to Smiley Monster, my main character, to make the most profit. Let's go. Followed slash follow follow weed. Smiling monster. See ya, good luck on the remaining stream. See you later, bro. Thank you for stopping by. So we go to here, go to here, eat a potato, eat not potato salad, we eat a thingy salad, one of those, one of those, one of those, two of these, one of those, eat that, gets back to here, um, yeah I need to go back, welcome back, thank you, thank you, add a quick phone call, so the message was like yeah I'll just let them know now before um i continued the stream it's just easier that way let's go bro see you later anton here go here we need to buy that will do that'll do nice now we go make profit Our uh, poison's the most profitable potions. Gotta go get my mom from the airport. Good luck on the drive. Buy a mammoth, please. No, I'm not buying a mammoth. Uh, poisons are generally good profit overall. 37, 37, 42, 40. Poisons sell really fast, so you're guaranteed your profit in the couple of hours that you um, craft them. That's why I do quite a bit of poisons. Plus, I use poisons a lot. I use poisons for pitfall poisons for fame farming, for corrupted dungeons, terror poisons for ganking, and high tier bosses. <laughs> How do I level up your potion specs fast? You hoard resources and wait for the 25% fame boost. Then you craft the low tier resources and study them to get decent spec. And then you just focus craft. Focus craft the rest. You're studying, make sure you do it in Kalyon because it gives you the extra bonus. I mean, if you're crafting, studying, I don't think you get the bonus. But if you look here, you just get profit. Every time I craft, this number goes up, and that just means I'm getting profit. See? Keeps going up. Classified. Hey, hey, hey. Yo, yo, yo. What's up, bro? Downside is it takes a couple of minutes to go from there to there. But bang, extra profit. Just profit and profit on top of more profit. Can you buy a mammoth on stream? No, I am not going to buy a mammoth on stream because I don't need one right now. When is the 25% fame boost? People are saying soon. I don't have any concrete evidence, but a lot of people are saying soon. Why not use salads for the quicker speed? I prefer to use um, the, uh, the pies so I can carry more resources. Do you plant your materials or buy them? Both. I plant all my herbs and I buy everything else. So 
So I just get the 30% increase in carry weight. That means I can bring more resources. It means I can craft more. So that. Why 25% fame boost? Why or when? Soon. I don't know why. Why would probably be because of the new update. If there is a new update or patch. Um... Let's craft now. Could craft some food. I'm good. Let's make some more terrier poison. Why not? Yeah, so it get, cuts me down to the black market. Uh, do you craft only with focus or without focus also? I craft with focus 100% of the time. Refining, if you're doing it in the city that gives you the bonus, you can refine sometimes without focus. Refining, since you get the extra refining bonus in that city, you can craft tier 4, tier 5, sometimes even tier 6, and still make profit without focus. But after tier 6, you have to use focus to get the best returns. For um, crafting, always do it with focus. How much focus do you get daily? If you have premium active, every character with premium active gets 10k focus in 24 hours. Even if you're online or offline, within 24 hours, within one day, you'll get 10k focus. That's why just having premium active is free money because the focus, if you specialize in one thing, just turns into printing silver like I'm doing right now. If you look down here, every time I use focus and I craft, I'm just printing silver. How much silver do I earn a day? Um... Passively, without trying, anywhere between 4 to 10 mil. 4 mil minimum, 10 mil on a good day. Um, sometimes I can make 15 to 20 mil if the prices are right and I do the right... Um, I do the right thing that make, generates the most profit. Anywhere between four to four to ten mil. Don't try this at home. Yeah, I'm just printing silver, pretty much. And if you guys want to learn how to make the same amount, 4 to 10 mil a day, click on my YouTube channel, go to the playlists, the how to make bank playlists, 
will teach you all you need to know about how to make money in Albion Online. Follow those videos, study the videos, and you'll be making money. So, okay. I might as well finish the crafting here. For... Uh, oh. Really? Just easier. And then come. Yeah. Hello. Oi, what you doing? My pleasure. Oh. That is a good series. Thank you, good sir. It is out there for you guys to learn how to make money and the different money making methods in Albion online. So you have you have everything you need to know on one channel. You don't have to go to all the other channels to figure out money making methods. The best way I can describe it is the more characters you have with premium active, the more silver you're going to print. The more silver you're going to print, the more characters you can get. It's a nice cycle. Start with one character, refine, get refining money, invest that into another character with premium. Now you have two characters refining, speeds it up to get three characters. Three characters refining makes four and five, six depending on how much you want to go. I currently have five characters active with premium. They're guaranteed to make me minimum one mil a day. Minimum one mil a day with their focus. Then whatever I do on my main character, so PvP, PvE, any activities I do will generate me silver as well. So minimum four mil. Sometimes I get lazy and I don't do what I meant to do. But focus prints you silver. You see here, focus is just printing me silver. Every second I'm getting 15k. See that? Bang. Bang. Another bang. There you go. I'm just printing 15k every second. Might as well do one more. Done. Now I sell this, and that is my character's finished. Buying or selling? Stay on. Oh, uh, I should have went top ways. It's okay. Looking to save passage? Went to the wrong. Uh, no, went to the right item. Now I stole. Now what do I want to? could do pvp or pve what is the time first of all all right i'll create a poll what Cancel. Ask your community. Ask away. Poll is now live. Is it not a poll? There should be a poll. 
100% escape from Tarkov? What the hell? One vote just now. All right, guys, there is currently a poll running in chat. You guys get to decide what you want to see. You want to see escape from Tarkov? You want to see Albion Online PvP? Or you want to see Albion Online PvE? So the poll is currently live. You get to decide what we do for the next, what, half an hour to an hour? Because after an hour, I have to go. So I'll give you guys roughly like five minutes to, to vote on the poll to see what is happening, what the options are and what to do right now. Escape from Tarkov is winning. Oh, no, I'll be on PVP shot up to 57 percent. Where is the poll? The poll should uh, already come up in chat. If not, check the chat settings. There should be like a little button that says the poll. But currently seven people, nine people have voted. Escape from Tarkov is at 33. Let me just display a capture. Let me bring that over. Escape from Tarkov is at 30%. Albion PvE is at 10%. Albion PvP is at 60%. So right now it's so nobody wants to see PvE. It's a battle between Escape from Tarkov and Albion PvP. Ooh! Escape from Tarkov has jumped up to 36. Albion PvP is down to 55. And special cape crafting, does it remain the same as the cape or it, does it change random? Um, it remains the same quality as the cape. So if you do excellent normal capes and you craft um, Thetford capes, it will be the same excellent Thetford capes. 11 votes. So when this goes one minute ago to five minutes ago, so two minutes ago, so you got three minutes left, three minutes left to decide what we do on stream. But right now it is a majority of Albion PVP. And if you guys don't know what Escape from Tarkov is, Escape from Tarkov is a looter shooter, which is really realistic. It's full loot like Albion Online. And recently it has had a wipe. So what that means is everybody starts from scratch. It's been, I think, like three to four days. So I can still try and kill some people. But once people, after a week or so, get into like top tier and get really good gear, weapons, armor, and penetrating rounds, I die instantly. So if you want to have fun, we can see me die and escape from Tarkov. Or if you want to have Albion Online fun, we can do some PvP in Albion Online. But Escape from Tarkov is a shooting game. I'm okay-ish at shooting games. I prefer to do the task, the survival aspect, the... How do you say it? The, su su the surviving aspect is more appealing to me than the Call of Duty aspect where you go in, run and gun. So, it is three minutes to go, 12 volts. We currently have 42 on Escape from Tarkov, 8% on Albion PvE, and 50% on Albion PvP. Oh, it is currently 46 46 for Escape from Tarkov and Albion PvP. Do red zone PvP? Mm, I can't see it. It should uh, re reload the stream or reload the, the setting for the poll. Just make 140k profit from crafting tier 4 poisons. Nice. See, just keep doing it and you'll be making even more profit. I'm currently have unused focus. What to do with it? If you don't plan to do anything for a long time and you just want something that is like two minutes of babysitting to do to use your focus, then refining is the way to go. Refining is just quick and easy. So four minutes ago. So you got roughly a minute left. 14 volts. 14 volts. Currently at 43,750. Everyone vote Albion PvP. Vote what you want. If you want to see Escape from Tarkov, you vote for Escape from Tarkov. If you want to see Albion PvP, you see Albion PvP. I would vote for Albion PvP, but I'm on my phone and there's no poll in chat. That is interesting. So currently it's neck and neck. Been escaped from Tarkov and Albion Online. Albion Online and Escape from Tarkov, neck and neck. So when that hits five, I will end the poll. Bang. 
End the poll. We're gonna have to make a new one, aren't we? We're gonna have to make a new one. Oh, no Albion PvE. Escape from Tarkov, 46. Albion PvP, 46. Albion PvE, 6%. Okay. I haven't voted myself. I can't vote. Um, finals. Oh, escape from Tarkov. Albion PvP. Off we go. This one won't be five minutes. This one will be like three to two to three minutes. I've gotten rid of the um, the PVE. So now it's just between the 46, 46 percent. So right now, two people have vote. Six people have voted. Sixty-seven percent to Albion PVP. Thirty-three percent to Escape from Tarkov. Nine people have voted. Nine people have voted. Right now, Albion PVP is winning. Thirteen votes. Albion PVP at sixty-nine percent. Tarkov at thirty-one percent. Seventy-one. Ah, oh, you guys ruined it. It was at sixty-nine. Hey, back to sixty-nine. Nice, nice. The thirty-one sixty-nine. A couple minutes to go. So far, it looks like Album PVP is gonna win. But then, like the last time, Album PVP was in the lead, and Escape from Tarkov just came up to the words at the end. And I prefer to do something that you guys would like to watch. So it, it's it's split 50-50. Right now it's not. Right now it's 33-67. But from the last poll it was 50-50. Which was interesting. 18 people have voted. 18 people have voted. Right now it's 33-67. to 67. Albion PvP is in the lead. Escape from Tarkov is slowly following up. But as soon as that reaches 3 minutes I will stop. And the poll results will be announced. And that is what we will do. So once we do Albion PvP, what type of PvP would you guys like to see? Corrupted Dungeons, Roads of Avalon, Arena, 5v5s, 2v2s. Just type in chat what you'd like to see. And if Albion PvP does win, we'll do that. Two minutes ago, 18 volts. As soon as that hits three, I will be stopping the poll. Open world? CIR? What's CIR? Oh, crap, the dungeons? Three minutes and poll. ZVZ and options. We could just Zerg. If you guys want to Zerg, we can go Zerg. If you guys want to come ZVZ and we all go Zerg somewhere, we can go do that. I'm down. All right, so EVP it is. What PVP? Corrupted. Uh, open world. Not open world. World. Uh, arena. And what else is there? Hellgates. I 
can't add any more? Uh, okay, well, let's get Arena and let's put ZVZ. That's not ZVZ, that's ZVZ. Okay, so you guys have selected PvP in Albion Online. Now we select what type of PvP. If you guys want to join in and we go Zerg some things, then uh, you do ZVZ and we can just get a party together and we can do some random like zero to hero type thing where we start off at like tier three, tier four and we kill people and then we do some open world. So four people have voted open world. Six people have voted. Open world is winning. DVZ and Hellgates. Nobody wants to see corrupted. Nobody just voted corrupted. Oh, corrupted is at 25% now. Open world is at 50. ZBZ and Hellgates is at 12. How do I join? There should be an option that pops up in chat with the polls. If you look down here, this symbol here is to view the poll. Or click on this little icon on the chat and it will give you the option to, um, to vote. Corrupted Dungeons and Open World 33, 33%. ZVZ and Hellgates at 17, 17. Oh, can't revote. I think you can cancel the click and click somewhere else, no? Open World is currently winning. Zero to hero would be fun. So you, you want ZVZ, right? I'll keep that in mind if ZVZ catches up. Right now, Corrupted Dungeon 25, Open World 44, ZVZ 12, and Hellgates is 19. No, I don't like CDs. Well, it's what the viewers want. It's not just what one viewer wants. And right now, it looks like Open World is winning. Corrupted Dungeons coming up second place. Some people like Corrupted Dungeons. Some people don't like Corrupted Dungeons. Some people like Open World. Some people don't like Open World. It depends on what the viewers want. So the viewers get to decide what I do. Hey, thank you for subscribing, Droot. This is Drot. I am Drot. Open world could be zero to hero, to be honest. Yeah, that is true. Open world could be zero to hero. Most definitely. Go R3? Or open world is what you do solo again. Open world would probably be me going to like Roads of Avalon and trying to kill people. Because... Roads of Avalon is where you're going to get most likely the fights. Open world would be like roaming, flagged. But if you're flagged in red zones, you're going to die instantly. So I think Roads of Avalon is the way to go for open world. Brut. I am poor. Click on my channel. Click on playlists. How to make bank. You'll thank me later. Black Zone, you only get ganked by 10 to 20 people. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to have to go. I'm going to have to go. Okay, so we got two more minutes. Two more minutes on this poll. And it looks like Open World is winning so far. So let me try and get a build together for Open World. I'm um, sure I haven't really done Open World in a long time. Let's see. This is for faction flag, ZVZ, ZVZ. Um, what's what's in this one? That's save. I'll do skip that save. Yep, let's go Roads of Avalon. Roads of Avalon. What would we do for Roads of Avalon? Um, hmm. Uh, 
So let's take a tier six bag. Uh, Drift claw. What cape do we want? Blood letter? I could go blood letter. Would you like to see blood letter? So open world has won by 50%. So we're going to be doing roads of Avalon, which is open world. Now we just select our build. Um, type the weapon you want to see. Right now we have blood letter. I don't mind playing blood letter. I'm fairly confident. Blood letter. They're trying to buff this, but I don't think it's working. Let that. that. Use flat eight regular bow build. And do we have to do another poll to see what weapon you guys want me to use? Would you do you prefer me to do another poll or do you want me to? Well, let me just do another poll. I'm get giving chat what the options weapon. A bow. Dagger. X. Cross the bow. These are the we oh no, dagger slash spear, bow slash crossbow, axes. Um, what else can I play? Bow, crossbow, dagger, axes. I can play. What other weapon can I play? Random. I'm giving you guys the options to today is just you get a pick you get a pick what we're doing let's go Dagger slash spear is winning right now. We're gonna make this one like a two minute poll because we want to get out and do the activities. We do. We don't want to sit here and just do polls all day. So I'm gonna put this to the side. I'm gonna start gearing up. Start gearing up. Currently, dagger to spear is winning. Oh, wrong, wrong tab. Your stream yesterday was amazing. Thank you, man. Much appreciated. Uh, whoever won, won. People that didn't, better luck next time whenever I feel generous. So, what do we want? What do we want? What do we want? Um, we could get this. No. Uh, what a cleric robe. Cleric robe. We'll take a cleric robe. That and that. And what else do we want? Could use Mage Cow or could use Cortis Cow. What do you guys think? Could use a 5.1. Let's go Cortis Cow. Um, Petford Cape is the way, right? Ah, we could actually go Undead Cape. Undead Cape could actually be a real lifesaver since we're going to the roads. Undead Cape could actually be the play here. So the poll has finished. The weapon is Dagger Slash Spear. So go this, this, this. Could go Undead Cape. Well, this is a full damage build, right? We don't really have survivability with this build. So I think we'll put that back. We'll, we'll get this. We have the invis if needed. We can also go... We'll go undead cape. Because why not? And then for the boots. Go demon boots. Boots. Yeah, we'll go demon boot. Yep. 
We'll go with this. So food and potions. Ideally. Poison potion. We'll take 10. Close it the rest. Take five healing potions in case we need to switch. Um we can take 10 of these in case we do some PvE. We'll take that. Or did I split it by accident? Dark scorp. Uh we'll just eat one of these for now. Keep one of them spare. Oh. That goes there. Uh, was it that? So that's PVE. This is PVP. PVP food. Eat. Oh. So that's PVP set. PVE. That, that changed. Offhand. We need the offhand. Offhand. Music. Survivor, hmm, survivability would be taproot. Do I have any taproots? Let's go back to taproot. Go buy a taproot. Fruit, tap fruit. Ah, what's this? Uh, maybe later, maybe later. Tap. Oh, what was that? Welcome, friend. <laughs> Three one four five point three five eight. Not that much of a difference. It's six four zero one four point three will do now. Oh. Buy a five two cultus cow. Why? Five one should do now. Was it for you? It's for you. Ready to leave? Ten percent chance, ninety percent skill. There you go. There's your five two quarter skill. Now time to find a portal. We need to find one of those green portals. Well, there's currently blues. We'll just go through a blue. There are seven, four. There we go. We'll go to that one. So this is. Huh? We'll go through this one. It's going to be seven. It's this. The blue one is the seven portal. So there could be seven people we're fighting. We don't want to be fighting seven people. We need to go through the blue one, find a green portal, and see if we can pick off um. 2v1 or gatherers or something along those lines. Do some open world PvP. I'll be right back, guys. One sec.
Big Papa Vlad? <laughs> oh, go in. Okay, let's see how well this goes. So, that's the bait to get rid of your shield. Never do that. So, we've got two portal charges one there, one there. Okay. Hey, thank you for. Oh shit, 420. <laughs> thank you for the 420 tip, um, Johnny Doctor. Dr. Johnny. I'll say it that way, Dr. Johnny. Thank you, thank you. Much appreciated, 420, as always. For that, let me do a bonus. Because that's 420 also. Okay, so I can go through that one or the other one. Let's let's go forward. Let's go straight. See how all this goes. If there's nothing there, we'll come back and go for the other one. How long does that last? 12 hours. We still have 12 hours. We're fine. Oh, go through the speed portal here. Here we go. Oh, that is not something you want to go through. So I guess we go to the other one. Go down here. Take the speed buff. I'm gonna go south, go to here. That one also. The head. Go south. We go south. Come on, let's find some PvP. Hmm. I could check the gathering areas because there might be solo gatherers. Just gathering. Oh, nice. Okay. So let's go check the chests. Check the chests and we'll go to the other ones if needed. Um, I think this way. Let's see. Looks like this is up, so nobody's doing it. Continue going. Left to go south. Oh, people say you should always kill these, right? Because they drop a swift claw. Did I get a swift claw? No, I didn't. Oh, no, this is a shit tier. What tier are we? We're in tier 4. Nobody wants to do tier 4 stuff. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to change. We're going to have to change zones. Can you show your inventory, please? That is my current inventory, and that is my current estimate. Um, let me leave it open for you. I could... No, I can't fight this. The zone's a bit different. Um, go south. We'll have to go here. We'll see what zone it is. What is it? Pine Corpse? We don't want to go to Pine Corpse. We'll go down there. This is the one thing about open world PvP, right guys? You're not guaranteed to find anything. And why don't you hide your location on the map? Well, I'm looking for PvP, so if people can come and fight me, that would be great. If they know where I am. If they don't know where I am, that's fair too. Normally, if I'm doing like uh, fame farming or if I'm doing ZVZ, if I'm doing um, any other type of content where I don't want people to know, then I'll have it blocked. But right now we are looking for fights. So if there's like a one or two man squad, 
I'll fight him. If it's like a five to seven man squad, I'm gonna just bounce. Um, this way. See what tier mobs these are. There's six. Maybe there could be some people here. Let's have a look. Oh, there's a death. There's a death. We go towards that death. Let's go. Best way would be straight down. There's another death. I eat that food. I've got the poison equipped. Oh, it's a healer, man. It's a healer. I don't really want to fight a healer. Oh, shit. There's quite a lot of people here. Why is it always five man teams? I don't want to take that. So that was a five-man team. Uh, I don't think I can take a five-man team with a healer. Hadmo Raman, hello, hello. I can't take that five-man team. So Reska. I don't least I could try and jump them. I could try and jump them later on let's go around how am i gonna do this they have a healer and it's a five-man squad five-man squad with a healer let's go somewhere else wait let's see if i can jump them if i can jump them i'll jump them if i can't then we'll see steve subs steve's jobs but steve subs yo what's up how's it going Where is the Y button? So that's one. Oh, who's this? Big Vlad. Vlad, you trying to you trying to kill me, Vlad? Come on. <laughs> yeah, man, that's me. <laughs> I was like, why are you trying to kill me, Vlad? Let, let me invite you to the party. I can't invite you to the party. Invite me to the party so you don't try and kill me next time. What is the best build for crafted dungeons? It depends if you want to do PvP or PvE. A new question, how do I see the tier of zone in the roads of Avalon? I can see the normal zone, but the tier of... What I do is, um, I normally just find a mob and then click on the mob. I just find the mob and then click on the mob and it tells you what tier the zone is. There is a way you can know with the portal. Is it for PvP money making? PvP. Oh, we can kill this guy. We can kill this guy. Yeah, there was a healer. I'm pretty sure they're baiting though. Pretty sure they're baiting. Nobody's here. Oh wait, um Papa give me lead. The guy said somebody said X. I don't know who said X. PvP crossbows are generally good. Frost staffs are good right now. Halaful is number one. Butter staffs. Can I join you guys with a 4.1 claymore? 
I'm getting a lot of whispers now. You can if you want, if you're in the zone. He's already in a party. You can join too. If you're here, feel free. I need to find some people though. That's the that's the two people that died. Could have taken tier eight poisons. Oh, he's here. He's here. Healer's here. On pinks. That that's not the healer, is it? No, that's the claymore. On pinks. On pinks. He's going sideways. Oh no! Ooh, I'm dying. Get out, get out. Run, 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 run. Oh, I'm dead. You got him? Nice. Nice, 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 nice. The other guy was north if you can kill him too. Why am I at home? Oh, wrong thing. Press the wrong button. Where are you heading? Um crap. Follow. Feels bad man got got killed. No, that was the wrong, wrong one. Looking for safe passage. That one. No, that's the wrong one again. I was at the right one. Hold tight. Oh. We need mobility. What's really good? Well, dagger had pretty good. Fuck! He executed you. Yeah, he executed me too. He executed me too, bro. No problems. What was he? Ah, it's okay. His friend was so laggy, could barely kill the first guy. I don't know how he teleported away from my execute. Or did I just miss time the edge of the skill? We have what time is it? So it's we we have time for one more. Who's this guy? Invite to party. There's people joining to do um, Roads of Avalon. Uh, the gonna take that. Gonna take one of these. Hmm. Oh, it's Deathford Cape this time. We go back with Blood Letter. Blood Letter. Blood Letter. Where's my Blood Letters? There you go. Blood Letter. That. I guess we could go Dash. We go Chain Slash. Life Steal. Let's do full damage this time. Let's try. Let's try full damage. That. That. Cleric robe, which is that, that. Then for boots, what would be good boots? I'm guessing soldier boots are the way to go, right? Soldier boots, soldier boots, soldier boots. Soldier boots. 
Uh, I can leave that. I'll take these ones. Um, that and that. Toughness. Then offhand, we want Musak for damage. Because I tried to E him and he just teleported away. Okay, so with 4.1 sets that I can get to 40k silver, which tier should go Rods of Avalon and clear solo chests? I would just do Corrupted Dungeons, man. Corrupted Dungeons is one of the best things to do because it's just... It's such good loot and such good fame. Like, what I mean by that is, is even if you don't PvP or even if you don't PvE, um, if you don't PvP, you can still get good PvE loot and fame. If you PvP, you're going to get more money because you're killing a lot more people. That goes there. We'll keep a couple just in case we need to heal. Yeah, that's fine. Let's go. I can get you anywhere. This should do a lot more damage. So you guys can follow me whenever you remember the path I'm taking. This is going to be my last outing. There it goes. Um, can I go through this one? Oh, I can. So last time we went through that one. Let's try and go through this one and see where we lead, where it leads. Mm, that's the thing about Roads of Avalon. There's always at least, it's never a 1v1. It's always a group. Make your call 5.2. I can't bother to do that right now. I'm just going to get out there. I am new, so I'm really not good at PvP. That's why I'm trying to get silver for premium. So if you don't want to do the PvE of Corrupted Dungeons, you just do the PvP. Don't take the shrine. If you get invaded, just break crystals. You don't have to fight. You can always run away. There's no shame in running away. If you don't want to PvP, don't PvP. Thank you. What tier is this? Tier 5? Nobody's going to do Can't blame him. 10v1 for free money. It is free money. If you kill a guy, it's just, it is free money. He just... That guy probably made just a mil. Yeah, depending on what trashed. So... Nobody's doing this. We go to the blue one. Somebody's doing the blue one. This is tier 5, so I don't think anybody's going to be doing that. We could go to the legendary pool and get owned by Zergs. We could do that. But we don't want to do that. Let's go south. Is this? What's this? Wilma Woods. No, that's... uh. What's this? Yeah, okay. I'm probably going to regret this, guys, but let's go to the the 20 man pool. Oh, there's a guy here. Do we fight that guy? Does he want to 1v1? I don't think he wants the 1v1. Unless he's got a party coming. Oh, yeah, there you go. See, I knew that. It's always a two-man group, guys. Which is boring. We can't enter yet. There's no spots. Okay, when you can enter, let me know. You can come join us. Should I do the yellow zones or the black and red zones? Do the red zone ones. You lose your money, but because of the bonuses you get from doing the red zone ones, you're going to make the money back in your first or first or second dungeon. Is there no spots left? There is no spots left. Um, well, I have pure damage build and I don't have escape set. Go here. Oh, there's a hideout here. Let's go gank the hideout. Gypsies? Oh, 
what is it tier six on Uh, oh, near the header. Isn't black zone better than red zone? Uh, for thingies, they're both the same. It just means you can end up from both black or red zone. They're both tier 8. What is this? Enables you to construct a hideout in close proximity of the prime hideouts placed in the roads. Oh, okay. I've never done, I don't do a lot of roads, so that was new to me. Both black and red zones allow you to do Slayer. Interesting. Well, let's go to the, go to the chest. Yo, Zilch, what's up, bro? Uh, hmm. Anybody doing the chest? Nope, nobody's doing the chest. This is the one thing about the Roads of Avalon is like, if you don't get into the right zones, you're not going to get a lot of PvP. If you do get PvP, it's going to be a group of people trying to kill you. Ooh. There's one guy. Oh, it's an actual team. It's an actual team. Fuck me. It's an actual team. Do I try and execute them? I don't want to go in that way because I haven't cleared mobs. So far, I saw three. If they don't have a healer, I could... Fuck, they haven't done that way too? A bunch of people went through the first pool? Did you go through too? Maybe then... We're on our way? Oh, nice. If you can get to this portal... Uh, then we can try and take this. But in the meantime, let's explore. So we could go through here. Uh, let's just let's just wait for you guys. Ooh, solo dungeon. Maybe there's somebody in here. Please be cleared. All right, just a newbie question. As a beginner, what should I focus in first game? Uh, focused on making silver to get premium. Then after you get premium, it's uh, it's just beneficial because premium speeds up the process by a lot. There you go. First thing you should do is focus on getting premium. Looks like um, well, nobody's here. Because premium is going to be your gateway to printing silver and advancing faster. Reason being, premium gives you 10k focus a day, so focus is just free silver, and it gives you a 50% fame boost, so it means you're going to be progressing 50% faster. Going in the port in 20 seconds, nice. Okay, let, let me see if they're still there. If they are still there, okay, we could try something. If they have a healer, that's a different question though. Have a healer, that is a different question. They don't have a healer, we, we're good to go. Ooh. How many? Oh, they have a healer. What is that, great? They have a healer, damn it. Okay. You're in SAO? My hideout's... My alliance destroyed four howdots in that zone. Okay. I don't know what this is. I don't think we can take this fight, guys. There's quite a lot of them, and they're all pretty geared. 
Mr. Mod. Yeah, there's four of them minimum. With seven point thingy excellent gear. I don't think we can take this. They're gonna come and fight us. Back up, back up. You're gonna get hit. Run, Vlad, run. Run, run, run. Invis. Back up, back up. Mount up, mount up. Use your, use your movement skills. Run! Fuck. Fuck it, you know what? Oh my god. We we can't get this. He rooted me for 10 seconds. That's, that's the thing. If you're fighting teams, they have a healer. You're not going to win. I dismounted too late to save you. Okay, well, let's go somewhere where there isn't a team. But yeah, once they locked onto you, they had so much CC with the one handed mace and the frost. No problem, man. No problem. I was just... I wanted to save you, but I didn't want to dismount. But in the end, I dismounted. And by that time, it was too late. So that was also my bad. Go this way. Um, Let's just go through here. Just take... Let's just keep going deep into the road. See wherever this takes me. Let's go proper deep. What tier zone is this? Tier 6 zone also? Overextended, yeah. Oh, snap. What the hell? Kill one of these. Uh, okay. Well, we'll go to here then. Dungeon. Roman YouTube. What's up, bro? What's up? What's up? Tip guys, doing 7.1 dungeons are real lucrative. I made three more in three hours. Nice. So same as stalker level, grab the dungeons. One mil an hour. Pretty dope. Pretty good. Yo, Kali, what's up? What's up? Okay, let's say I went deep into the roads. Now, how do I get back to your location? That's the question. If you don't remember the way you came, you're not going to be able to get in. Was it finished? You need to remember your path. If you don't remember the path, I think there's a tool that tells you where to go from where. 
have you been lately busy with the real life stuff slowly getting back into the youtube and content creation what do you call it routine yeah routine where does this lead into the deep roads how about you man I'm, i've been doing good doing some open world pvp uh you know what let's check the gathering spots maybe there's maybe there's a gatherer we can try and take out Malin, suggestion please what's better to do potion crafting or any gear crafting according to you for the most profit food crafting and um armor or weapon crafting for easy sustained profit poison crafting Hmm. Not great, man, but life moves on. Ooh. Okay. Is there a way to find aspects easily? I'm not too sure. No, I don't think so. It's just you roam the open world and they're there. Nice to see a stream, yeah. I've been doing videos on streaming. Best way to make money is to play the game. True. So it's nice to have some Oh shit, there's a boar. Fuck, I should have bought my knife. Could have killed it too. I could have probably try and get a die boar. Yes, yes it is. Did you stop streaming on Twitch by the way? Oh yo, cutie, what's up? Yeah. I've stopped streaming on Twitch. I'm doing YouTube now. I'm trying to, for this year, I think I'll do YouTube, compare the difference and see where I want to build. But I think YouTube is the way to go just to have all my content in one location. Just makes it easier, right? So my streams and my YouTube channel is all on, uh, all, my streams and videos are all on YouTube. And then Twitch, I could probably make that an account for like other streaming. So like Escape from Tarkov or some other type of content. I'm still looking into what I want to do. No pups, no pups. Um, see nothing. Where are all the gap? Where are all the people that aren't in groups? Well, the thing is, I'm fighting. It was a five-man group. Go this way. We had three people, but they had a healer, and their comp was better. Go so this way. What's this? There's a tree. Real good noticing. That's a tree. What's here? Is that a diabol? Tell what? I can't see. Have you played talk of this wipe? Yes, I've got to level five so far. I've just been doing like. Um, we're doing basic quests and I've been doing loot organizing, which is looking at my loot for two hours and organizing it. I finally managed to do enough um, raids to get myself a lucky scav junk box. So I've put all my hideout upgrades in there and now I've got more space that I can actually do some proper raids. Albion looks like a lot of fun right about now. I know, right? Going through the zones looking at nothing fighting nothing that's why corrupted dungeons is pretty good right because you can you're guaranteed fights but it's a weird 1v1 meta which is yes and no you should have killed the dire wolf at the big spot why what does that give me is it a chance for me to get a, a good drop where's the music stop yo What are your specs in Dagger? I will show you once I'm not getting attacked by mobs. There you go, good sir. Bow, spears, daggers. 700, 700. I'm so sad though. I just lost all my motivation to play. I feel you, Kali. I actually feel you. I know exactly how you feel. I've still lost... 
I'm only 50% motivated to play right now. I'm waiting for the new updates to see what they bring to the table. And if it's something good, then something good. If it's not, then we'll see. I'm broke now. I feel you, bro. Ooh, legendary chests. Basically how it works out, maps are harder, but give you more rewards. Yes, every tier map gives you a percentage increase. I think what tier one is... What tier is this? Tier six. Tier one is 8%, then 16, then 32, if I remember correctly. The direwolf give you direwolf pup. There's a guy here. There's a guy gathering. There's a guy gathering. I'll leave. Let's go around. Got gathering gear though. Is he going to a hideout or what? Yeah, undead cape demon boots. Be a bit hard. Well, I know there's a gatherer here, so let's continue looking around. I'm not even broke at the moment, I just don't want to play. Yeah, I've I've had that for the last couple of couple of weeks, maybe even a month. I'm just like Do I play Albion online or do I focus a hundred percent on blockchain gaming, making videos for blockchain gaming? Because blockchain gaming is the future, and I'm oh fuck, I'm dead. I am dead. <laughs> wow. The higher the enchantment of the map, the lower is the loot, but you get more fame. Yeah, that's cool. I gotta go soon though. What time is it? Oh, five minutes left till half six. Got help cooked dinner. When's the update coming? No idea. Not too sure, bro. Not too sure. But the roadmap says it's soon. But, well, the 2021 roadmap, anyway. Um. I'm level 34. Holy shit, Akuti. You've been banging out Escape from Tarkov, huh? Are you playing with everybody else? Or are you playing solo? You playing with, like, what is it? Juicy and Lars and all of those. Uh, the EU people. The conflict EU people. There's a dungeon. Let's go to the dungeon. But first, let's go to that green chest. <laughs> Anybody doing the screen chest? <gasps> There's no mobs. Somebody here. Somebody's here. Somebody here? Damn it, nobody's here. But somebody's in the map. Okay, that's good to know. But there is somebody in the map. Hmm. So, oh. there's a there's a gather in the map too. Oh snap! Seven point three. Don't have my pickaxe. Lid made it two days ago. Made six mil just by doing islands and crafting. That's what I do. I do my laborers and crafting every day. Because it's guaranteed profit, and then when I do get back into the game and playing the game properly, I'm going to have the silver to play. Did I kill this dial or the big dial? Try starting a new character without any help from your other characters. I was thinking of doing that. A new character from scratch from mobile, like playing on mobile, or an Iron Man, like old school RuneScape's Iron Man accounts, or just like Zero to Hero from scratch again. So all the new players that are joining can see 
what you should do and how you should do it. Still, still thinking of what to do. Oh, so that the, so there is a group here. Let's see. What's that? I tree. I tree strand. Is that no? It's not near. If it was near red tree, I would go to red tree. Hmm. Come on, man. Where's all the PvP at? Windgrass, real. Windgrass. <gasps> is it near red tree? No, it is near red tree. Okay, let's go to Windgrass and we go red tree. Let's go to red tree. Chad crafting? Sounds like a swell bingy hideout. Save some crafting for gays. I don't know whose hideout that sounds like. Hmm. Yeah, there's a guy here. Going through the pool? He's going through the pool. Um there's another is that a gatherer? I don't know if I that gather. He doesn't have good loot. How do I get to Red Tree? South, south, south. Fuck, that's a long way. I gotta go this way. Could just go back. You know what? Let's just go back. I'm gonna go back. End the stream there, guys. Didn't get any fights. Well, any good fights. We got outnumbered fights, which are not fun. Go into Rage Claw? What's Rage Claw? Where's Rage Claw? Wait, wait, wait. Great clue. What is that? What time is it for you? It is currently half six, but I've got to help make dinner. I've got to go help make dinner, so. Go in Rage Claw Mount. Oh, I ain't going in a Rage Claw Mount. You crazy? I am not that money spending yeah i know what it is now i thought there was a area called rage claw something were you telling me to go into a tear rage claw mountain who's that guy oh, i am a tier five force we'll do a proper pvp stream soon That will be thrilling for you guys, not for me. I'll be it will be nerve-wracking for me. Yeah, it would be a hard pump. It'll be an a pretty solid two hour hard pump.
Yankees. What the hell? There's a transport that just came through? Everyone will come after you? Of course they will. Especially if I'm streaming. If I stream that shit <laughs> and I, uh, I'll be like, yo guys, I'm in the black zone on a rage claw. You know how many people would be coming after me? Yeah, I know. I get, you get alliances trying to get that rage club for themselves. You're like, yeah, so I'm the alliance leader, so I get this rage claw now. Thank you guys for helping me get that rage claw. Continue being, um, continue being good slave. If it's one of those alliances, if not, they'll split the loot. Yeah, there wasn't that much PvP. There was the one at the start, and then the one where we got thingied by five people. What can you do? We'll do a proper PvP session soon. Cool. Well, thank you guys for watching. See you guys Monday or Tuesday. Peace. Will I be doing a mammoth giveaway anytime? Maybe we'll see. I don't want one person to win everything. So if yeah. we'll see, we'll see. Maybe. Maybe not. Who knows?